What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, this is a collective reading, capsule side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. I only take the messages that resonate. Just saying. Okay, so um, oof. so I received. Uh, I've been up for like an hour or hour and a half or so. Um, and I received a channel message in, so I'm going to share it. For um, those of you that, that did not see the previous reading, um, I got a personal spiritual message from Spirit not to do sign readings for a while, so I'm not going to. But if I receive any channelings in, I'm going to do them. And also, um, I might do something a little more creative um, in the collective readings, possibly. Just saying. Um, we shall see. Um, if somebody don't try to steal that shit, too. Just saying. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So free journal, free journal, collective reading. Um, only take the messages that resonate. Uh, okay, so here we go. So the channel message I received was um, someone um, has already been and some are about to try um, to do black magic on your teenage daughter is what I heard. Um, but it's, uh, already boomerang back and it's about to boomerang back some on themselves, some on their child. And then I heard young child, some teenagers and some on, uh, oh wait, some on themselves, some on their child. Oh, and some on their pet and some on their pet. So you plug it in, how that resonates. Holy freaking A, man um whoever these people are and whoever is trying to do this crap to you spirit messages you have for the collective so um somebody's been i heard your teenage daughter so somebody's been trying to perform black magic now anybody doesn't know black magic is dark arts um it's on the dark side it's voodoo it's witchcraft it's dark side of witchcraft it's not positive affirmations and money manifestation in a positive way it's you know sacrificial type energy blood of something 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 it's um um it's uh negative gossip negative nancy energy it's um chanting around naked possibly um wish it ill upon people basically um it could be any or all those things but it's negative into the universe in some shape form or fashion to get to bring yourself up basically it's putting negative out to others to bring yourself up is basically dark arts and it could come in many different forms many different forms um but whoever this is for if this resonates with you they're doing it on your teenage daughter so for some and i didn't hear this part i feel they've done it to you in the past or they've attempted to do it to you in the past but whoever you you are you're very strong you're very strong and you're very spiritually protected um and i think they know this um that's why they're about to do it some have already done it to your teenage daughter some are about to um but that's why they're doing it to your teenage daughter is what i'm feeling because they know you're very spiritually protected and so is she performing a very important powerful protection spell over her already have for some Okay, wow. I heard it. And so is she. So she is too. So I think maybe one of you guys is about to get heads up about this. And that's freaking great. Hopefully, you, if you know me, you click um, your click on this and you get a heads up. If you don't know me, you click on this, you get a heads up. How that resonates. But I heard some of you um, protect very heavy protection spells. So you're going to perform a very heavy light side protection spell um, over her. And absolutely, freaking lutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yes, I, I perform um, light side protection spells all the time on my home and my kids. Um, 
you can Google them if you're not familiar with light side protection spells. They're very simple, very light side. Um, and you go through by itself. But it is a teenage daughter if this resonates with you. Um, I heard for some it's going to backfire on them. And you know, dark arts always backfires. Now, some of the people on here square up and down. It does dark magic don't backfire, but it does. It does. It always backfires in some shape, form, or fashion. Always, either little or big. And whoever it's, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's a lot of people doing this. I feel they might be doing it in coven groups, um, cult groups. Um, for random groups, they're doing it in groups, I feel. And I didn't hear they were doing it in groups, but I feel they are. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, because they know they're stronger um, in groups with the negativity, negative Nancy, negative Ned behavior. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, that's why these kind of people fear people that work alone and do alone, basically. Because they, um, they know you're powerful. Whoever you are, you're very powerful. Um, not like money and status and clout and things like that, but you are a powerful being inside yourself. You're very mentally um, strong, physically strong. You have a lot to offer to the universe. They know this and it scares the hell out of them, basically. So um, for some, it's going to backfire on them. So like I said, black magic always backfires either a little bit or a lot. In this instance, hopefully it's a lot. Um, and I'm serious because they need to learn their lesson. For some, it's going to backfire on them in a negative manner. For some, it's going to backfire on their child or children. And I heard for some of these people, child or children, they're young child or children. So I'm thinking like toddler, um, infant, toddler. And for some, it is a teenage child as well. Um, and some, it's going to backfire on their pet. On their pet. On their freaking pet. Um, so whatever pet they have, it could be a goose. It could be a a bird, it could be a dog, it could be a cat, it could be an iguana, some kind of pet energy. Um, it sounds like this is about to happen. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet. For some, it could have already happened. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. And I've already pulled one tea leaf and we have diamond. You will be re um, receiving or giving a precious gift. I think um, the giving is the um, protection spell over your teenage daughter and yourself. And receiving um, would be um, spiritual protection is what I'm feeling in this um, instance. Um, black magic strong in here. Voodoo magic strong. Very strong. But you are very strong. Voodoo bloodline as well. It is about to backfire in a huge ass way on them. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is so juicy. Okay. So I heard voodoo magic, um, voodoo bloodline strong, voodoo bloodline strong. So you have a strong line uh, in your ancestral DNA and in, um, in generations of voodoo people, warlocks and witches, and you have it ingrained in your DNA, in your bloodline, basically. Voodoo magic. Voodoo magic. Um, your ancestors dabbled and dibbled and dabbled, and they might have helped create the voodoo magic, for all we know. Um, I, whoever you are, I feel you're very light side. Very light side. Very light side. Okay, I heard very light side. So you're very light side, but, um, but you know, you have a strong inherit inherital DNA of voodoo. Um, so it's in your, it's ingrained in your DNA. I mean, and you can have that and still be light side. Absolutely freaking liberal. You can have that be light side. Um, it just makes you more powerful inside yourself. But, and for some of you, I don't feel your family told you you had such powerful DNA. I feel you figured it out on your own. Um, and I didn't hear that part. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. But they, the people, that have already performed the heavy dark arts on you and is about to, they dabble and dibble and dabble in this heavy 
voodoo magic too. For some, they could have heavy voodoo DNA as well. But it sounds like you're, you are very powerful on your own. And these people are all working against you in this black magic coven shit or cult shit or whatever the hell it is. And it's about, it's about to backfire. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> for some on themselves, for some on their teenage kid themselves, for some on a toddler or a um, infant child of theirs, and for some on um, a pet. Well, they shouldn't be doing what the hell they're doing. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have for like Yeah, pale. Time to get out of a situation. Time for them to get on the freaking light side, man. Get the hell out of Dodge. Quit doing the dark arts because it's about to backfire on them in a huge ass way. And um, I'm feeling, I heard voodoo, heavy dark art voodoo. So I'm feeling, I just heard Louisiana is what I just heard Louisiana. Just now, just heard Louisiana. So maybe one of these people that is really heavy into the voodoo practicing on the dark side they might reside in Louisiana, or you might reside in Louisiana, or maybe you're from Louisiana. Louisiana is a state in the United States of America, for anybody who doesn't know. Or maybe you, you like to visit Louisiana, or you have vacationed in Louisiana, but somehow Louisiana is significant. Um, you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, I don't feel guided to get any more. I, I feel guided to pull a kipper and see if I hear anything else. We have bad health reversed. So they were trying to perform all this, I think, to make you sick. Because, you know, you perform dark arts for evil intentions. Um, they were, I think they were trying to do it to make you sick or make your daughter sick. Because I heard your teenage daughter specifically. Or to try to make you mentally ill. Um, it's about to backfire on them in a huge, huge, huge way. They thought they had one plan, but it's about to go a completely different way. Uh-uh. No. What is the crap, man? My cat is about to drive me crazy. Just like, oh yeah, see? Oh, see, they had a specific plan. And so did I. Oh! But yet my cat peed on my resume. Ew, that is so gross. Hold on, y'all. Let me go. Oh, hold on a second, y'all. This is. That, I think that everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. So, here's what I think. My cat literally just stood right here on the side over here and peed on my resume. Just peed all over my resume as I was saying that. Everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. So, I heard channeling that basically it was about to backfire in a huge way on them. And it's about to go a completely different opposite way. So, they think it's going to go one way which they think they've got your teenage daughter and they are about to hex the hell out of her and make her their minion, basically, um, and make you depressed and sad and all this. But I heard it's basically about to go a completely different way. And then I heard, uh, heard a completely different way. And it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So they think it's going to go this one way and it's going to go a completely different way. Then as I received that channeling, Hold on now. My cat, which he never hardly ever does that, he sat right there as I was receiving that channeling and peed all over my resume. And I am serious. Well, you better go. I'm not upset at you. Let me show you. Cat pee, which cat pee is the nastiest of it all. And here's my resume. Pee all over it, man. I worked really hard on that. So, I think, here's what I think from that. I think their plans are about to get pissed all over on, is exactly what I think. In a huge way, someone is really, really waking up. 
to dark arts use now in their community. Some in someone else's community. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I've got to get this off my hands. Hold on, y'all. This is gross. So I heard basically um, someone, it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Someone's really waking up to the use of dark arts, some in use in their community, some use in someone else's community. Um, and when I heard Louisiana in here. So Louisiana is very, very significant in somebody's life in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in, however that resonates. So I think their plans are about to get pissed on, just like my resume that I worked very, very hard on. Um, got, just got pissed on by my cat, um, which he never just sits over there and just pees on crap. I mean, well, he's not perfect. He does pee on crap sometimes when he's not supposed to, but that one usually doesn't do it. That specific cat does not. It's the other cat. And he sat up there and peed on my resume. He never does that. He, that cat never does. It's the other cat that does. That's my highly intuitive kitty. So that's very strange for him. And he peed on my resume. I think that's significant. Um, but I think it's about to wake somebody up in some shape, form, or fashion. And um, in a huge way. Okay, I heard in a huge way. Okay, so it's about to wake someone up in a huge way. I think it's about to wake you up in a huge way. Um, I think. Um, and... About person, people, place, situation, organization, etc., etc., etc. And for some, I feel the wake up call energy. Maybe your you, maybe your intuition was off about something. I think one of these gifts in here is your intuition peeking up. The person that's about to get a huge wake up call about black magic being used. Some in your community, some in somebody else's community. Um, I think it's about to um, peak your intuition up in a huge way. And I think that's one of the gifts is your intuition, internal gift, that your intuition's about to peak. I don't feel this is like physical gifts up in here. I don't. I don't think this is material gift. I think this is a, in, um, I don't think this is a materialistic gift is what I'm saying. I think for some, this might be your intuition spiking, um, the gift of um, black magic backfiring onto these assholes and um, divine protection for you is exactly what I'm feeling in here. I don't feel this is physical money gift. Um, for some, it could be. Um, and then time to get coupled with the time to get out of situation. That's spiritual protection all day long, in my my opinion. It's spiritual protection all day long. I think you're about to really protect yourself spiritually. Um, or you already have. However that resonates. Um, I told y'all my story about my crystals buried outside my home a couple years ago because the crazy black magic crap that was going on started going on with me um, in my own neighborhood and area. Um, that's a true story. I had a bury crystal. I didn't have to, but I chose to bury crystals outside my home um, for protection for me and my children. Um, true story. All right. Well, I'm, let me see if I hear anything else. And look. Now, my cat, the one that never pees on stuff, is the other freaking cat. The one that sat there and just peed on my freaking resume. He's sitting there just staring at me. Just looking at me. On the couch. I, he never does that. Not that one. Not that one. The other one's a pee pot. That one does not. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if I can say this on here because you're not supposed to say this on here on YouTube. Um, so I will shorten it. I will shorten it. Um, I'll shorten it because that's how I usually do it because you're not supposed to say the actual 
phrase on here and you haven't been able supposed to do this for like a year now um c19 is what i just heard c19 so y'all know what that means i'm assuming most of you guys know what that means c19 um the thing everybody's been having to deal with for about a, almost two years now in the united states c19 is what i heard so i think one of the ways it's going to backfire on these people maybe um because some of these people is going to backfire on their own kids and some of these kids are young like toddler infant and some are teenagers um and some it's going to backfire on their own pets and some on their own selves but i heard c19 so i think some of these people have already just acquired c19 the new strain of c19 some are about to acquire it and I heard it's about to backfire on a huge way. So one of the ways I think is C19. And for anybody who doesn't know, there's a new strain of C19 out right now called Omnicron. Uh, true story. Um, Omnicron. And I know the place I'm at right now. Um, and um, workforce wise, they're already ex experiencing. Uh, we're already seeing it here in our city. At the place I'm at now. Now, I'm not there right now, you know, I'm not there right now, uh, not because of that, but, you know, for other reasons. But my point is, it's prevalent and it's going around and there is a new strain called Omnicron. Now, I didn't hear Omnicron. Um, I heard C-19, but the whole thing. So I think one of these people has a, possibly already acquired it or they're about to acquire it or their children or their pet is about to acquire it. Because I specifically heard it, except the whole thing. So I feel one already has it. One is about to acquire it, um, is what I'm feeling. And um, that's what, because that's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Alabama and Canada are very significant as well. And Tennessee. And Florida. Okay, I heard Alabama, Canada, Tennessee, and Florida are very significant as well. Alabama, Canada, Tennessee, and Florida are very significant as well. And Dubois, Dubois, Dubai, 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 Dubai. Okay, I heard Dubai. Dubois, what the hell is that? Dubai, Dubai, isn't that a country? In Dubai, a country? No, oh, it's charging. I think Dubai is a country. I heard Alabama. Canada, Dubai, Dubai is a country in like another overseas. Alabama, Canada, and Canada is, we all know Canada is another country outside the United States. So we've got Louisiana, and then Alabama, Canada, Dubai, um, Florida, and Tennessee are very significant as well. So maybe this is where the strains of the new C-19 are going to break out with these people. Or these people live in these states or countries, because there's two different countries in here, several states in the United States, and then I heard C-19, except the whole thing. Um, so there might be, you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel there might be outbreaks. Of, these people might acquire the virus, and then there might be outbreaks for other people. Because whoever these are, these people deal with a lot of people. Um, they don't grow and manifest themselves individually. They like to work in groups. Um, so, yeah. I think they're about to spread it to other people or somebody's about to spread it to them. Um, how that resonates and somebody's pets about to get affected. Some uh, C-19 is significant in here, but it might be something else. It might be some other kind of sickness or illness or um, accident or, um, um, or maybe somebody gives them some crazy um, STD or something. I mean, these people, yikes, they're nasty. They're just freaking nasty, man. That's why I like to be single as a Pringle like non-married and that's just the truth because it's nasty all right i love you guys so much everybody make wonderful choices and namaste